How's it going? This is David from BushcraftCanada.com. Just showing off a couple of blades here. Thought I'd do a quick comparison. Today we'll be comparing the Bark River Strike Force 2. A very nice larger knife by Bark River. This particular one is in the antique bone linen. I'll do some quick specs in a minute. And I'll be comparing it to the Breezer Big Mook. Also a very popular blade by Breezer. Obviously quite a size difference between the two, um, but if you're considering a larger knife, these might be two that you would look at. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, quick side-by-side, -side, show them off. So I'll start with some quick specs. So for the Strike Force, overall length, 11.8 inches, blade length, 6.6, .6, blade thickness, 4.8 millimeters. Interesting uh, shaped fuller as well, um, nice bit of design. The blade does sweep up here. It's not a complete, um, or it does have that little dip there, which makes it a little bit more challenging to sharpen, um, but it's not such a drastic one that's gonna be too much of a problem. This is in the really excellent CPM 3V steel, Bark River's most popular. Very tough, very fine grained, holds a very good edge, very durable as well. Requires a little bit of maintenance. It's not a stainless, um, but a top end steel. That's the Strike Force. For the Big Mook by Breezer, overall length 15.75 inches, blade length 9.5, blade thickness 4 millimeters. Obviously, based or influenced by the, uh, the Nest Mook, obviously, just a larger version, longer blade. It's got that same kind of sweep, um, and the ratio of the end of the blade to the front of the blade is kind of the same as most Nest Mooks, but obviously, it's just scaled up. Very large handle. Um, small to large hands, you will not have a problem with this knife. Really good quality bush tool. The uh, steel in this particular one is the excellent ADCRV2. Very tough, easy to sharpen, a really good tool steel and really good for the bush. If you're looking for a reliable, durable steel, um, the ADCRV is really good. Again, not stainless, so will require a little bit more maintenance. But uh, there's always a bit of a trade-off. Really nice curly birch handle with this one. Red liners, as you can see. Brass pins. The liners for the Bark River are also red. Stainless pins, spot for a lanyard on the end. I do really like this Strike Force. It does feel very nice in the hand. It looks like a large knife, um, but when you actually hold it, it feels a lot smaller than it looks. So if you're looking for a larger blade, that sort of longer cutting edge in a knife that's really nimble in the hand, um, the Strike Force is a really good option, really nicely balanced blade. The Big Mook, obviously um, a bit heftier, obviously designed more as kind of a, a general purpose tool, you know, um, sort of light limbing and um, camp tasks. It's really the perfect kind of blade for that, but it does have quite a bit more heft than the Strike Force. I'll do some quick side-by-sides, kind of show off the, uh, I'll just show them off close up. Obviously the handle length difference is apparent. As far as the thickness of the handles, they're about the same. Both really nice in the palm. Both have spots for lanyards. So yeah, really is a tough choice between these two if you're debating them. Uh, they're both really excellent knives. They come with great sheaths as well. This is for the Bark River, nice leather, really good stitching, quite a simple sheath. Knife slots in there at the front, this snaps over, but it's a really nice sheath by Bark River. And for the Big Mook, also a great sheath, bit of a simpler one. Um, nice leather though, good stitching. Spot for a belt, bit of a dangler here, which is nice. People seem to like those. And uh, yeah, a really practical sheath. So yeah, definitely worth a look if you are looking at some larger knives and you kind of um, just need some ideas. Uh, these are two really excellent ones, both very popular and uh, both very capable. Check them out at our site, bushcraftcanada.com. Thanks.